Hey guys, another video for the Wheels in Japan playlist. Lots of wheels in this place. This is the Japan Rail Train Museum in Nagoya. I'll take you on a tour through it right from the start, including buying the tickets. So buy a ticket from the ticket machine. Actually, English friendly too. Uh, we're going to include this on our English friendly directory because this place was English friendly. They had an English friendly ticket machine and then they had brochures at the entrance there in English as well. So it's tourist friendly and English friendly. And quite a spectacular entrance as you can see. So those of you who are into trains are going to love this. Those people who are not interested in trains will probably leave us at some stage in the near future. <laughs> this is just basically a lot of trains. So what we've got here is from the oldest. The oldest train they had there was over 100 years old and right up to the latest uh, Shinkansen and and uh, magnetically elevated trains. But all in beautiful condition, quite wonderful. Works of art, some of them. I believe this is the first Shinkansen. Quite amazing, aren't they? Those of you who have been following the Wheels playlist have already seen us riding a Shinkansen. Quite an amazing experience. The fastest that most of us will ever travel on the ground. So of course aeroplanes can go faster, but as far as travelling on the ground, this is the fastest. That uh, As fast as most of us will ever travel on the ground. And here's the superconducting magnetically levitated vehicle. <laughs> the maglev. 400 and what did it say there? 485 kilometres an hour. That's moving, isn't it? So I wouldn't claim to be an expert on trains, guys. The only information I know about trains is what I read. What I read on the brochure and what I read on the signs that were plastered on the train. So I'm sure there's people watching this that know a lot more about trains than we do. All we're doing is basically show them, showing them to you. So you can see there the oldest ones are on the right hand side and then slowly they get progressively newer up until the most new ones on the left hand side. And there's rows of them they actually go back. There's another row of them behind. Quite an amazing place. That's actually a maintenance train, that one. For laying laying uh, the rocks, the little rocks that go between the between the tracks, and other maintenance, I guess. All in amazing condition. They really look like they've just been driven in there and parked. <laughs> I guess they were some of them. And this is the second row. This is the row at the back. And again, the oldest ones on the right hand side there and the newer ones on the left. There's a two story one, two levels, upper level and lower level. Amazing, aren't they? These older ones are cool. Lots of wood. Oh, that one's a uh, sleeper carriage, so it's got seats seats at the bottom there, and then the uh, the bunks above the seats. 
Very cool. Now this one was a uh, 30, no was it, 1941 I think this one. But lovely the old ones, you know, the old uh, decorated cast iron and the lots of wood, lots of polished wood. Really beautiful. And then interesting that the older ones, the really old ones, start to have the carriages themselves are made of wood. Well, the outside of the carriage is wood as well, which is amazing. Beautiful. Oh, this one's interesting. This is an engineer's carriage, and the markers around the outside there are to measure the clearances. So these guys can go around and check all the clearances on the tracks to make sure that, you know, I guess, you know, overhangs, rock overhangs or tunnels or whatever, obstacles are uh, not within a certain distance of the train. So just drive along with this one. And if everything clears it, it's okay. And if it doesn't, they have to do something about it. Interesting, isn't it? Bit of simple technology there. And uh, this was a 1927 uh, baggage car. Again, quite a beautiful thing. Even if you're not into trains, I think the actual structure of these things, you know, the history of these things is, uh, is beautiful. There's a wooden one, look, this is made of wood on the outside. And some beautiful fixtures on the inside. I think that was 27, 1927, if I remember rightly. Amazing. Oh, that's right. This one was a bit special because it had the engine in the same car as the passengers instead of having a separate car for the engine. The engine was just at the front of the passenger car. And I've actually, there's actually modern ones like that in Japan now that's just one car, basically, with the engine at the front and the people sitting at the back, usually electric, of course. And this is their quite famous uh, Shinkansen bullet train simulator. And they, they tell you when you come in that, that if you're lucky, if you're lucky you can try the simulator but of course there's lots of people who are really really keen to try the simulator so the chances of getting onto it we were there on a weekend so it was pretty busy if you were lucky if you went there on a weekday when it wasn't school holidays uh, you know just some day of the week maybe in the morning or something when it first opened or if your timing was good you might be lucky and get onto the simulator um, but if you go there at a busy time I would suggest that your chances will be very remote, but interesting to watch nevertheless. Stand back and watch it. And then jump back in time a hundred years. Quite amazing, isn't it? This is actually a diorama or a model of Nagoya sort of condensed into a small area but a lot of the main features of Nagoya are quite cleverly made there's some really clever little features in there but not just the train system but also some other features around Nagoya as well cool isn't it and then a bunch of historical things so these are the date stamps for tickets 
and the little, I don't know what you call those things, what do you call those things for stamping tickets? And a bunch of old tickets, old ticket collection, some train station clocks, and a bunch of old uh, destination signs off the trains. and a destination sign off the front of the train. They're pretty cool. And conductor's uniforms, old conductor's uniforms. And they're bits and pieces. Not that much different from what you see now either. And then a communication system, you know, from the conductor to the driver. So if you find yourself in Nagoya, Japan, and you want to have a look at this place, we've put it on the Attractions Theme Parks part of the English Friendly Japan directory. So you can find it there if you, if you want to find a map reference and everything else. And we'll also put a link underneath this video so that you can find it easily. So I hope you enjoyed that. More videos coming soon.